So, Doug, when you took off last Wednesday, you, you didn't really believe that you were going to be able to deliver these letters to people on Capitol Hill, did you? No, I was, I was pretty confident I'd be able to go this all the way no through. Good um, but actually no, deliver the letters, get off your, your copter, or, oh, and actually go and deliver the letters? I mean, it seems no, like no, a, a stunt. No, no? I, I, no, 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 no. I understood that I was going to land and be taken into custody. I mean, what was the point of, of trying to do this? Because everybody has been talking not about campaign finance, but about this guy who flew a gyrocopter to Capitol Hill. Well, the reaction that I'm getting from people uh, and the questions that I'm being asked is, why did you do it? What was this about? What were you thinking? Well, I know it was about okay. campaign finance reform. I, I get why you did it that way, but I'm just wondering, do you really believe you accomplished anything? Because, frankly, you spent a lot of taxpayer money in police time, uh, you made a lot of people worried in law enforcement, and I'm just wondering, was it really worth it? If the government spent a lot of money cleaning up after my stunt, and it results in an honest government, it's the best money they ever spent. Do you think taxpayers should have to pay for you wanting to do this stunt, which you knew that your letters were not going to get delivered, so I'm calling it a stunt because it seems like it was designed simply to get attention and get media attention. It was designed to get attention on the problem of corruption in Congress. Okay? You, you, told the Tampa Bay, to you told the Tampa Bay Times that you were going to give the authorities plenty of warning well over an hour in advance of you getting to the no-fly zone so they would know who you were and what you were doing and what you intended to do. Did you do that? Yes. Who did you uh, call? All indications, I didn't call. I sent a delayed email, okay, and I emailed um, info at Barack Obama uh, dot com. Uh, I don't think a call that I am going to fly in would have been taken any more seriously than my email would have been taken, okay. My email was tied to the story breaking in the Tampa Bay Times, which gave it credibility. A simple call to 911 that I'm flying in would not have had any credibility. You don't think a call to a 911 operator saying that I've got a gyrocopter and I'm heading straight for the Capitol and I'm going to land on the Capitol, I'm going to land at the Capitol, I'm going to pass by the White House, I'm going to violate restricted airspace, you don't think that would have been taken seriously? I think they would have said, yeah, right. Well, then why didn't you do that? Because if they weren't going to take it seriously, it would have been no problem for you just to do that. The administration was who I needed to notify because I needed to notify the people who could make the decision to stand down on shooting me down and would let me land and take me into custody alive on the other end. Nobody at 911 can decide not to shoot me down. You're under house arrest now and you're facing up to four years in prison. Do you think this was worth it? I won't know if this was worth it until I got through, through with it. And we're through with it when we see whether or not there's, in the next election, a serious dialogue about corruption and a serious commitment to solving the problem of corruption. And that's what makes it worth it. All right, well, Doug, I appreciate you spending the time with us. Thank you, Doug. Thanks for having me, Anderson.